This is the review channel, and in this video, I'll be reviewing Magic Grow capsules. These magical pills contain several fun shapes that grow from the capsule when they're placed into water. Unlike enchanted beans sold by traveling charlatans in times of yore, these magic capsules deliver on their promise of growing creatures from water. These miraculous tablets can add a splash of fun to bath time or a touch of fascination to any dull moment. It's been many years since I've witnessed the power of these magical capsules, and their growing abilities are paired with a strong sense of nostalgia. Each of these capsules measure 24 millimeters in length and 8 millimeters in diameter. The capsules are available in blue, green, red, and yellow, with 12 capsules in each package containing 12 unique shapes. The capsules are extremely small and look like any other medical capsule, but in brighter and more fun colors. I would use extreme caution with these around children to prevent them from swallowing these capsules and having foam creatures growing in their bowels. The capsules are comprised of two pieces that slip apart with the foam shape inside. Without the use of water, the foam shapes have a ragged and roadkill-like appearance. I really don't know what animal this is supposed to be. Maybe a dog with severe mange. This triceratops emerged from one of the capsules submerged in water. The water helped it regain its proper shape. The foam is similar in consistency to a sponge, but much lighter. It's very soft and squishy, and it maintains its shape well enough. You can roll the foam around into a little ball, and it'll pop back up. The packaging states that these magic capsules conform to the safety requirements of ASTM F963. After some research, I discovered the ASTM is the American Society for Testing and Materials. ASTM 963 was developed by subcommittee F15.22 and contains 68 pages of information about the safety requirements and hazard potential of toys sold for children. The safety guidelines cost $76, so I decided to trust that they conform to all American safety regulations. Now let's put the capsules to the test and see exactly how they work. I filled this cup with water, and we'll see exactly how long it takes for this capsule to transform into a fun animal shape. Sadly, in my haste and excitement to start transforming capsules into animals, I filled the cup with very cold water. This caused the transformation process to take much longer than anticipated. With about 9 minutes and a bit of stimulation on the capsule, the animal shape finally started to emerge. You can see as the capsule dissolves away, the water penetrates into the foam, causing the foam to expand, pushing the capsule walls further away. Like Dr. Alan Grant watching an egg hatch, I too watched in anticipation as the animal shape slowly formed before my eyes, pushing away its capsulated confinement. Finally, after 11 minutes and 29 seconds, the shape was complete. I pulled it out of the water, squeezing out the extra water, and was amazed to hold in my hand a small triceratops. Frustrated with the extreme length of the transformation process, I turned to the packaging and realized I overlooked an important detail before starting my growing conquest. I was supposed to use warm water, not cold water. With this new information, I filled the glass with the warmest water I can get from my tap. This time around, the process was over five times faster with the warm water. After 90 seconds, the water penetrated the capsule, allowing the foam to expand and break the capsule apart. After 2 minutes and 39 seconds, I found myself with a mighty red pterodon. Now that I knew the warm water yielded the best results, I wanted to see if I could expedite the process even further by adding vinegar to help dissolve away the capsule. My hopes were high for the animal inside the capsule to emerge in less than a few minutes but was sadly disappointed to find that the vinegar did not help as much as I had hoped. The capsule took several minutes to start breaking down to allow the water into the foam. After four minutes, I ended up with a vinegar-smelling velociraptor. I was really sure that the acidity of the vinegar would help break down the capsule, so I tried again with a warm water and vinegar mixture to see if it would work after all. Again, to my dismay, the capsule took too long to start dissolving. This capsule took five minutes to fully dissolve, and it left a strong and sticky residue that stuck to my finger. Leaving the residue to stick to the side of the glass, I ended up with a sticky yellow protoavis. With eight capsules left, I figured the only logical thing left to do was to transform them all at once in a quasi-primordial soup combination. I tossed all eight capsules into just warm water. 
You can quickly see that some dissolve faster than others. Part of it is the gap between the two pieces on the capsules. Some of them have a gap or they're bent or broken along the shell of the capsule, which allows water into the foam. Once the foam absorbs water, the outward pressure of the growing foam paired with the dissolving capsule allows it to transform much faster. Some are fully grown after a few minutes, while some require more time and some moving around in the container. The final results show that using cold water takes the longest, with the capsule dissolving in 11 minutes and 29 seconds. The warm water speeds this up to 2 minutes and 39 seconds. My failed attempts at quickening the process with vinegar clocked in at 4 minutes 11 seconds and 5 minutes 4 seconds, while doing 8 capsules at once took up to 6 minutes in warm water. Let's compare the foam dinosaur shapes to the shapes that are advertised on the package and gauge how accurate they are. Starting with the Ankylosaurus, you can see that the spiky structure on its back is evident, though the eye hole is almost non-existent and there's only three legs. The tail is advertised to curve upwards, but it curves downward on the foam cutout. The Dimetrodon is actually fairly accurate with the detail along the spiny protrusion on its back, but the detail on the feet are lost. Overall, it's very similar, but slightly squished horizontally. The Iguanodon is almost spot on, though the details on the hands are lost and rounded out. The Pachycephalosaurus has the right head shape and looks prepared to ram into something, but the arms and legs in this position are disfigured. The Parasaurolophus has lost its snout on the foam cutout, making its cranial crest look like a shark fin. The Plesiosaurus has the right overall shape with spot on fins, but the mouth has lost its agape look and the eye is not there. The Proto-Avis looks more like a flying squirrel than a reptile, and the foam cutout makes it look like some kind of strange bushy-tailed flying creature, with no overall definition in the wings. This is the most poorly presented dinosaur shape in the bunch. The Pterodon is well constructed with the wing shapes, though the head is not as elongated as advertised. The Stegosaurus has lost the dual spikes on its tail, which have been morphed into one triangular spike that could easily be mistaken for one of the bony plates that line its back. This kind of misdirection can easily misinform the youth who are interested in paleontology. The fearsome appearance of the Tyrannosaurus rex is completely lost on the foam cutout, leaving you with a Kermit the Frog type head on a pudgy body with a beaver tail. The Triceratops is represented fairly well and is easily identifiable but the double horns have been morphed into a single horn. The Velociraptor has a very generic reptilian appearance that can easily be mistaken with a Compsognathus. I'm fairly disappointed in the production quality of some of these foam shapes. For 99 cents, these should be spot-on, easily identifiable, high-definition dinosaurs. Ranking the magic grow capsules on the phonometer between boring to fun, there's a lot of variables at play when ranking the capsules. When I used the cold water, this was completely boring. No child or adult will wait 12 minutes to watch a pill turn into a Triceratops. Once the warm water came into play, it sped up the process and raised the phenometer significantly. Doing several capsules at once made the process much more fun, but you can see that different capsules dissolved at different rates, which caused the phenometer to bounce between boring and fun. I give these magic capsules a final ranking between just okay and fun. They're slightly more fun than watching paint dry, but not as fun as watching grass grow. Now let's weigh the pros and cons. As a pro, these magic capsules are simple and easy to use while being slightly fun. No matter what age, anyone is bound to have minutes of amusement with these capsules. Dinosaurs are awesome. There's five other animal varieties available, like farm animals and bugs, but dinosaurs are by far the best. The price is another big pro. I got these capsules at a local dollar store for 99 cents, which is a bargain. With each capsule magically transforming into an animal at 4 minutes each, that's 48 minutes of capsule dissolving fun for 99 cents, or approximately 2 cents per fun-filled minute. You can't get that kind of deal anywhere else. Looking at the cons, these capsules dissolve into a gooey mess that sticks to your finger and the container. After dissolving the capsules, the residue left behind stayed and hardened to my glass. It took a lot of hot water and scrubbing to get it off my favorite drinking glass.
These capsules look like fun and colorful versions of medication that could easily confuse small children or adults with child-sized brains and allow them to swallow the capsules. This foam may pass through the intestines, or it could result in a serious bowel obstruction. So do be careful not to mix these magic capsules up with your antidepressants. Overall, I found these magic growing capsules to be an enjoyable product that brought minutes of enjoyment. If you want a short distraction from life, I suggest you go pick yourself up a packet of these and watch life grow before your eyes. This is the Review Channel, and if you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe.